Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Riding on the success of 155M Bofors gun during Kargil war, Indian Army has proposed Field Artillery Nationalization Program or FARP. The program is slated to replace the weapons of 169 artillery regiments of Indian Army with modern weapon system and 155M tote artillery will be the mainstay of the artillery force. As a part of FARP, Indian Army plans to procure 3,000 to 3,600 pieces of artillery in five different categories, regarding which we are going to discuss today in detail. Now, this includes 1,580 pieces of towed gun system under which Army wants to procure ATACs, Dhanush and Sharang. The Indian Army had released an RFI in December 2022 for procurement of 150 artillery guns of 155mm 52 caliber. Army prefers the weight of gun to be 15 ton or less. The contenders for these requirements are ATAX, Bharat 52 and Dhanush 52. As per the reports from ANI, the Ministry of Defence has received proposal from Indian Army to buy 307 ATAX for deployment along the border with China and Pakistan. The proposal worth over $1 billion and is under discussion and is expected to clear soon by the Cabinet Committee on Security. The order will be fulfilled by two private firms, Bharat Forge and TASL. They will be supplying 320 high mobility vehicles also. Now, Dhanus 52 is 155 mm 52 caliber gun, which is an upgraded version of older Dhanus, which was 155 mm 45 caliber. Its range has also been enhanced up to 42 kilometers. The gun weighs less than 14 tons and is considered the lightest Witzer in 155M category. Now, since we're talking about Dhanush, so the second regiment of Dhanush, that is 18 Dhanush, will be inducted by March 2023. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. Army is also looking to procure 300 upgraded 155M Sharan guns. These guns have been upgraded from Army's vintage Soviet origin 130mm M46 stored artillery to 155mm 45 caliber standard with enhanced firing range of 37km and better terminal effectiveness. The Army has already inducted three Sharan regiments and its fourth one is in the process of raising. Eventually, Army has planned to have 15 such regiments. Army has also planned to acquire 814 mounted gun system as a part of its field artillery rationalization program. Now, in April 2021, Army has released an RFI for procurement of this gun system. Based on this requirement of Army, DRDO along with Kalyani Group has started development of 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. This gun system has a maximum range of 45 kilometers and is based off on BML next generation 8x8 high mobility vehicle which gives it shoot and scoot capability. Again on 22nd December 2022, TAC has accorded the OON for or acceptance of necessity for 24 capital acquisition proposals in which mounted gun system is also included. The trials of MGS or the mounted gun system has been going on for some time. The mobility and performance trials of MGS are complete. The standalone firing trials of the armored cabin is also complete. As per latest report, MGS is ready to undergo the strength of design trials. Now let's talk about the K9 Vajra. Indian Army has also planned to induct 300 or more K9 Vajras. In 2017, LNT won the first contract of Rs 4,500 crore to supply 100 units of K9 Vajra under Make in India initiative. On 18th February 2021, LNT had successfully completed the delivery of last and 100th K9 Vajra forming the five regiments. Now the next 200 guns, which will worth around Rs 9,600 crore, will be procured in two batches, with each batch consisting of 100 guns. Now as per the report from Hindu which was published last month, Ministry of Defence had already issued the RFP to LNT in November month. Once it is responded, the price negotiations will begin, followed by which the order will be placed and this all process is expected to be complete by March 2023. Now let's talk about the M777 Hovitzers. In November 2006, India has ordered 145 
M777 hoverages from US worth dollars 750 million. The M777s were the first artillery guns to be ordered after the famous Bofors scandal which unfolded in late 1980s. The M777 manufacturer B system delivered 25 ready built hoverages and remaining guns were to be built locally in collaboration with Mahindra Defence under Make in India initiative. Now as per the most recent report 110 M777 hoverages have been delivered to the Indian army. Last but not the least is Garuda 105 V2. Indian army has also shown interest in this gun which is an ultra lightweight go anywhere gun. It fires 105 mm 37 caliber artillery shell with 360 degree of firing capability. It has been indigenously designed and developed by Kalyani Strategic Systems Limited. and can be mounted on any in service 4x4 wheeled chassis like Tata 4x4 or even Humvee. Indian Army has already carried out trials of this gun at high altitudes and many foreign countries have also shown interest in this gun. It has also undergone trials in United States. In the year 2020, Kalani Group has sent this gun for trials to Saudi Arabia. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.